Yo, what up guys, it's Eclipse from Team Ruthless, and I wanted to do a, I wanted to revisit my Melee Explain video, um, that was a very early video within the game, early life of the game, and I didn't have access to a lot of the different armor pieces and weapons, and also that was before all the updates, I believe, and I was not, I, I, I don't think I've done a video since update 1.30 <laughs> maybe in, in terms of a build video um i know i've had a lot of pvp stuff um that you guys have been watching but i've noticed this was getting a lot of um new traffic since the pc release so i wanted to redo it i don't think that video is very well um very well not done just very well uh, I don't think it's a good video. I'm just gonna say that. I don't think it's very good. Not enough information to, that I gave you guys. I, I just did not have that much <laughs> information for you guys. And this hopefully will be a quicker and fast video of the the melee meta. I'm gonna call it. Um, I think this is a quick, simple explanation of that. And I'm probably not going to get too deep into it because I want you guys to figure out some stuff on your own and I want you guys to experiment and especially since we had that tournament like I saw a lot of stuff that I didn't think was going to work that people made it work either through using certain mods or just pairing them up with different weapons and it, which was really cool to see um but yeah so Again, I like to I like to see that kind of stuff, so I want to leave it open for you guys. But first of all, I also might be doing this with a a lot of other videos too. Um, a lot of my other build videos, anyways. I might revisit those for you guys. Um, things that I think don't do you guys justice, don't do the game justice, especially them being pretty old. Um, but yeah, also by the way, I'm on PC now. Um, I, this video I'm doing on the Switch and. I probably still be doing most of my videos on the Switch since I have all the stuff and I'm too lazy to farm. But I am playing on PC and hopefully I am going to start every Thursday having PvP fight nights, fight nights for the Switch and the PC. Um, so everybody just hop on the Discord and let's get some matches going. I'll probably stream slash record matches depending on the vibe. Um, if I can get constant matches, I'll probably stream. If um if I'm struggling to get into matches, I'll probably just record. It depends. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah. So again, this is a my me melee meta video uh revisited. So first and foremost, if you don't know, the Anfang weapons are the best weapons in the game. There's just no competition. Um, uh, we're they're currently banned from. At least our Switch tournaments. I don't know if the PC tournaments are going to follow the same format. But our current host, shout out to Shadow, um, have these weapons banned. I think most of the mods <laughs> on it, um, on the Discord decided to have them banned. Um, I don't know if I agree that they should be banned. But they are indeed the best melee weapons in the game. It's just not even a contest in terms of the melee weapons available. Like the range, the power... They just all around do everything better than all the other. Even like they hit harder than these. Like it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. Um, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why they made these so good. Maybe to um, promote the expansion or exploration mode. But yeah, they're really good. Um, I think more people would be okay with them if they weren't the best at everything. Like maybe if the legendary swords the dance leaf and erendite at least hit harder or something people probably wouldn't be as uh, mad about it even if these hit harder than the uh, and things people probably wouldn't be mad about it but yeah they're just really good um so if you're trying to get a melee build the first thing you want to do is farm exploration mode and get one or two of these especially three slot i got lucky on pc and the first one i found was three slotted so that's pretty lit but yeah, you wanna wanna find these. Grid three slots if you can. 
Again, I'm not someone who farms slots and expansions because I'm a lazy gamer. But, yeah, definitely get these. And in, in terms of build-wise, um, in my opinion, if you're going for a melee build, in my opinion, I think you should get a flight boost speed of at least 20,000. That's just my opinion. You can probably make a slower build work. But in my opinion, and if if I'm being honest, I'd probably try to make my build faster. Um, there's a lot of things I could probably do to this to make it faster. But I kind of like where it's at in terms of uh, gameplay for me. So uh, it's probably going to stay around 20,000. But in my opinion, I would go for at least 20,000 speed boost, flight boost speed. Also, don't pay attention to the mobility meter. That doesn't really mean anything. Always pay attention to the flight boost speed. But yeah, I would definitely go for at least 20,000. Like not even 20,000 boost speed will probably get you faster than most players, especially if they're rocking four weapons. Um, I would like to say it, you'll probably be in the top 20, 10% in terms of speed doing PVP badges. Like, nobody, not too many people will be faster than you, or too much fast, or not so much faster than you. You'll at least be, you'll be pretty close to the level. If anything, with this build, I'd probably try to make it. Again, I'd probably try to make myself faster. Try to get, um, I could probably make this up to 22, just from a couple of changes. I'm not gonna do it, <laughs> but, yeah, um... In terms of like arms for melee, um, the top three in my opinion right now is Muramaza, Swordbreaker, and Azura Zuruk Rot arms. These arms are actually really good. They increase your defense and your VP by like four thousand alone if you're rocking the Swordbreakers. So I'll go from fifteen thousand to actually twenty two thousand. So about if I it just equip two of the Zurok Zurok Rot arms. Um, the defense on them is really good. I don't know about these. These might be a good pick too. But yeah, I'd either go, I would go with those. These definitely like, yo, go to melee performance, <laughs> click it, and pick the ones on the top. And just the, and then from there, it just depends on what you're looking for. You're looking for a little bit more defense. If you're looking for speed, like any of these, I think are a good pick. Legs, again, I would try to do whatever you think would keep you at 20,000 and give you, like, I wouldn't work, like, fights barely happen on land, so I wouldn't worry about land speed too much, so I literally just, like, I would go by weight and just see from there, like, what am I losing for speed, but honestly, I'd go with either the Mumes, Flash Phantoms, Flambergs aren't bad either, or the Zeruk Weiss, however you say that. But again, I I personally would try to keep myself around the 20,000 speed. Processor, I always go for boost up. Not even a question. Body again, try to get around 20,000 speed. Um, you could probably pick something with a little bit more defense. That's really up to you. I could probably, I can go a little faster. Oh, I was like, why is this better? <laughs> I think it's literally just a mod, but um. Mume is still not too bad. A little bit more VP, more defense. Muramaza. Uh, it's whatever, man. <laughs> In my opinion, I would probably just... I'd probably stick with the Flash Phantoms. These aren't... This ain't bad either. I would pick... This has a little bit better stamina usage. But I usually don't have a hard time running out of stamina with this current setup. Head, I think the longsword. Longsword is probably the best helmet in the game. 
Again, I don't have it modded, so you can probably make it better. But longsword, and for you guys kind of early into the PvP, either use Liberator or Flores Dominion, something, something that's going to take up the whole screen and make aiming not so difficult for you. And then I'll, we'll go on the testing round, and I'll show you guys a little bit a little bit of my build. If you haven't seen it, I might have some videos around. I might have some videos on the YouTube of me rocking it out with some end fangs. But look at the range on it, dude. All right, from zero. From zero. We almost at 150. We almost at 150. If I can see how it's so, if I go from 100, I can probably hit him. That's stupid. See how much damage you do? In terms of, like, I'm not gonna, again, I'm not gonna give y'all too many tips. <laughs> I want y'all to figure it out yourself. But when you're PvPing, especially in melee build, make sure you switch off and on between these ships. So definitely when you're planning to go on attack, go on assault shift, go in, bam, double damage. Bam. When you're trying to get away, trying to preserve stamina, wing shift. Get out of there. And if you feel like you're open, you're getting stunned, you pop the shield. Just pop the shield, baby. Where you going, boy? I one shot at him earlier. Oh, I'm too high. I'm getting blown up. No. Why he why can't you get that high? Alright, I'm done playing around. <laughs> also, if you're not gonna use your shift man, a good way to use Mirage is if you're close, like when you're going into attack, pop Mirage. When you're going into attack, if you miss or whatever, get out, get rid of your Mirage, save your Fento, get out. Just get out of here. Pop wing ship. Boop. We out. Oh, going to attack. Pop this. So now he got two of us he got to worry about. And we out. You see this crazy? Look at my, look at my longsword helmet. My crosshair is crazy. It takes up almost the whole screen. But yeah, okay. That's it, guys. Deuces. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. They make marketing community is going strong. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to host fight. Did I say? I don't know if I said this already, but I'm trying to. We're trying to host fight nights Thursday. Um, for PC and Switch, I'm gonna be focusing on the PC version this Thursday. Um, a lot of people, a lot of PC players, been have been wanting a tournament. Um. I think we're waiting on a couple more things. A lot of people are worried about cheaters. Um, also, I want people to get their gear up and stuff. Um, and yeah. But, um, yep. Wednesday, or not Wednesday, Thursday. Again, uh, fight fight nights, we're calling it, uh, for switching PC. Um, I'll probably be jumping between both. I may record and or stream uh, some videos. I'm hoping to get some good matches. Um, it's fight night, so anything goes. I'm not going to have any rules. Um, at least not. Unless it, you, we can decide rules during before matches. It's not that serious. Um, we're just doing a little fight night for people to get together and play the game. Um, I would like to have no rules at first just to see. I want to see what people bring out. Because st I feel like we still need to play a little bit more to, f to find out what the meta is. And... Um, I don't think we have too much data on that, especially, especially with, I think most of the more PVP oriented players are overseas. Um, but I think that might change now, now that, now that the game's on PC, but yeah, anyways, I'm done ranting fight night Thursdays. Hope to see y'all there. And, uh, yeah, I'm out. Deuces.